Welcome to the instant sequence by selection tutorial. In this tutorial we will cover how to uh, do instant sequence one section at a time on on your song so you can have more variation in your instant sequences. Uh, first I want to make sure you can get your screen to look like this. Uh, I have 12 vertical parallel ribbons. You click on tools, layout, and you want to be in CCR mode. The number of CCRs is 12. Light type is CCRs, ribbon orientation is vertical, ribbon shape straight, ribbon length full, location of ribbon controllers doesn't matter. And there's these three buttons at the top here. I like the uh, middle one, which is called wide grid, uh, because I think this shows uh, the effects on the ribbons best for a tutorial like this. Next, we want to click on the tools button and select instant sequence. The instant sequence dialog box comes up. Um, we want I, I want to have the the timing marks up here, but I don't want to do sequence all. I want to do sequence. Uh, see the default is sequence all, and I want to do sequence uh, the selection only. But I want to have some timing marks up here, so you can do that by clicking on the tools menu and say create timings except we first have to open an audio file so we say house I'm gonna open house on Christmas Street and after a few seconds it processes that and now it's done and now we're gonna say click on tools say create timings and it's gonna go through and analyze the file um, There, now we have our little marks up here. It makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on in the song. Um, I have to go back here and say sequence the selection only. Um, we, uh, I'm going to play the first part of the song here and figure out where we want to mark the beginning and end of a section. Let me tell you about this house. There's one in every town. Okay, I'm going to mark the end right about there, and, and notice I clicked on the stop button as opposed to clicking on the play button again. If you play a, if you click, uh, click on the play button again to stop uh, the music, it, it won't move to where you stopped at. So I clicked on this stop button so that it would stop at where I stopped. Okay, right there is the end of the section. I did a right mouse click to mark the end. You notice in the dialog box here it says use left mouse click to mark the start time. Use right mouse click to mark the end time. I already had a left mouse click. Well, let's do this again. There's a left mouse click there. And There's one in every town. It's the right about there is where I wanted to mark the end. It's the okay, so now we have our section marked that we want to sequence. We can use the default settings and say sequence selection, and then this will play the section that we just sequenced. And that's pretty cool, but I want to start out with something that's more simple than that so that we can build to something more complex. And uh, first, I'm going to do edit, select all, and delete that so I can start over again. Um, I want to do the simplest thing possible, which is two segments, and I'm only going to do it on the middle two ribbons. I just set TCM1 as two segs, so I'm going to set ribbons 6 and 7 to be TCM1, and everything else I'm going to set as none. Okay, we say sequence selection. And there it did it. You know, it only only it only sequences that the section that we have uh, selected, and we play that, and we get that. Let me tell you it's, about this house. There's one in every town. It's a uh, very simple, but like I say, I like to do that so it gives me something to build on. Um, so let's do a left mouse click here to mark the start of the next section and we'll do play all. It's the one at Christmas time where folks all gather around. Most times of the year you pass 
goodbye and not look back. Oh, but in December, it'll stop you in your tracks. Stop you in your tracks. Cause it's okay, right there is the end of that section that I want to do. And for uh, this one, we can uh, just do the old... Well, first I want to show how you can uh, build on that. We, we, we did uh, two, two ribbons there. I can go uh, sequence that again, say sequence selection, except actually this time I want to make them be red. Sequence selection. Okay, now you see we have, if we play that section, you can see the middle two are red. Well, you can go and just do the next two ribbons on either side and set them to, say, orange and say sequence selection. And that will add two it'll only sequence the ribbons that you tell it to and it leaves those um, uh, middle two ribbons that were there alone so you end up with with you end up with orange I mean red in the middle and orange on the side and so you can keep on doing that to build whatever color pattern you want in my case I'm just going to go through the colors of the rainbow and make those next two be yellow say uh, sequence selection now we've got yellow on either side and we can just keep on doing that and this time I'm going to use green and on the next ones I'm going to use blue and then finally I'll use purple Oops, except I forgot to change it. It didn't. There we go. Okay, so now you can see purple there. The the bottom uh, ribbon and top ribbon don't get triggered very much because they're the very low and very high frequencies. But anyway, if we play the selection, the you can see that each uh, ribbon is turning the color that we set. Okay, so now we can go on to the next section. We click with the left mouse button there to mark the beginning, and we play it until we hit to where the, we want the end of this next section we want to do. Okay, right here is where I want the end of the next section to be. For this, we can get, uh, we can just do the old uh, roll dice if you want. Um, but first, you want to set the default ribbon assignments to get some variation there. And we can just say roll dice uh, sequence section. And, we can play. and actually, I think that looks looks pretty good I, I got lucky <laughs> sometimes you'll get some effects that uh, don't really look that great but that one looks pretty good I think I'm just gonna stick with that but uh, actually just for the sake of demonstration I'm gonna roll dice again sequence selection and that one looks okay too but you can just keep on doing roll dice until you find something you like. So, anyway, uh, you can just do roll dice to randomly find something you like. But uh, for the next section, I'm going to do some. I'm going to show you something else you can do. So let's do a left mouse click there, and we will do the old play all. And... 
porch and a couple of carolers singing by the lamppost over near the front door near the front door she Okay, right there is where I want the end of that section to be. Um, if we bring up the timing map, you'll notice that there's some default freak settings here, and there's this checkbox that says include beat. I'm going to check that, and it turns out it only includes the beat for the stereo uh, settings here. Uh, let's use Stereo Valley and say set freak spectrum. And you'll notice, uh, you know, these form a valley. That's why I call it Stereo Valley. And uh, these ribbons on this side are using the left, uh, uh, left stereo, you know, with the left track. These are using the right track. And these two ribbons in the middle are using the beat. And uh, that means that for the middle two rib ribbons, it's going to do it. It's going to trigger an effect at every where it sees a beat which is everywhere it sees these yellow lines so and it also sets some uh, default when we did this default freak settings and I clicked on this button this says set theme color and movement it sets some defaults uh, here uh, for you to start with and if we do sequence selection let's see what it comes up with Okay, let's play that. Okay, it's got these morphs going on either side. And in the middle, you'll notice that it has these uh, two segs that are, you see, it, it, uh, it set TCM3 in ribbon 6 and TCM4 in ribbon 7. So this one seg, he's doing slow right, and this other seg is doing slow left. And that's why they... Air, with with the beat, they're moving one pixel. This one's moving one pixel up, and that one's moving one pixel down. Now that's sort of interesting, but uh, I actually think this TCM combo two is better. Uh, you click that one. Let's do sequence all, and now let's play that. And now it's got these cool patterns on either side. This is uh, on the the left. Uh, speaker and that's the right speaker and in the middle it's got these morphs going in opposite directions and that's because this is a circle counterclockwise and this is or this is circle CW stands for clockwise full length and this is circle counterclockwise full length CCW stands for counterclockwise and actually I sort of made a mistake on these defaults it it, it ends up um, it says slow left and slow right here, but it's better if you set set none there. It didn't really matter in the particular case we're looking at, but um, anyway, we set none, and it, it, it's going to look the same. But um, another what I wanted to show here that's interesting. You can see, you know, here's the middle, the start of this section that we're sequencing right now um, it's just ribbon six and seven that are using the beat right now we can go into the timing map and set all the ribbons to use the beat and then we can uh, we can just alternately have the ribbons use TCM three and four and let's see what that produces. Okay, you can see what it produced up here is very regular. That's because um, all, all 12 of the ribbons are triggering effects on the beat now. And so that's why it's so regular. Um, let's see do the play stop all and there you can see uh, every other one is going up and down like that and as long as you're not prone to epileptic seizures that it looks really cool um, and as you can guess you can you could do these in pairs if you wanted and 
now we get a pattern like that. And then you could, of course, do all the ribbons on one side one direction and all the ribbons on the other side the other direction. Uh, we do sequence all. And we place up all. And now it's going like that. This sort of gives the illusion of going around in circles. Now, another thing you can do is, of course, these, these effects, they're just plain old effects up here. Uh, you can uh, select them and delete them. So we could select all of these guys. And remember, you can push the control key to add to a selection. So I'm pressing the control key right now. And so I've got everything selected except these middle two. Then I press the delete key. And now we start out with that, that and then it adds to it. And if you wanted to, of course, you could uh, go uh, gradually add to that. Delete those. I could... Delete those, and then it'll just gradually build up to uh, all the ribbons going around in circles. Okay, let's play the selection again. Oops, okay, we, we changed, it's because I changed the selection. Let's go back to the beginning here. Uh, so it starts out just in the middle, and then it adds to it. So, you can see there's, there's a variety of things you can do here uh, with each section of the song, and uh, you just go and keep selecting uh, sections of the song and apply some different effects, and you can get some... Uh, really cool variations in in your instant sequence uh, I sometimes joke that well I think we've probably spent about 10 minutes on this song so far uh, to get the first uh, 50 seconds of the song going and so that's hardly an instant sequence but uh, each time you press this sequence selection button it really does instantly create a sequence there so uh, that is accurate but it is going to take some time for you to um, uh, this in, this button is is instant, but it it takes some human interpretation to select uh, the sections of the song that makes sense, and to uh, uh, play around with some different instant sequences until you get things that match the song. So that's all I wanted to cover on this tutorial. Uh, thank you, and have a super day.